Great. Sunday all's good. Um, and you can ignore the camera, just speak to me. Um, so yeah, it, you, there can be some interplay between both of you. Why don't you introduce yourselves and tell us what your history of working with Bill Team Jones is? I'm Robert Wurzel. I'm the lighting designer and worked with Bill's company for the last 23 years, since 1985, roughly. Um, most of the work with the Bilty Jones Artisan Dance Company is my work with Bill. He's one of the uh, few artists that I feel have completely changed who I am and how I work and how I see the world. He's a brilliant, articulate man that way. I feel honored to have worked with him for so long. And here we are now doing a, a very different piece that's very different from modern dance, which is how I know Bill mostly. This is a you know, commercial theater dance piece. Um, I'm Peter Negrini. I'm the projection designer. Uh, I um, have not worked with Bill for that long. I was actually introduced to Bill by Robert uh, three years ago, I suppose, uh, for a piece called Blind Date that uh, Bill and I worked on together, and that led to him asking me to join on this project as well. I met Peter at New York City Opera on a, an opera, um, Haroon in the Sea of Stories, which was a new opera at the time and had a large uh, projection video component and was very impressed with Peter's work. And knowing that uh, we were just in, at the time in discussions for Blind Date, and Bill was saying, I'm really looking for a projection designer. And at the time, he um, really thought that Janet Wong, our, our associate artistic director, who was new to video, would be, be doing it. And it, it soon became apparent that it was more complex. So I um, remembered Peter, of course, his work was so intelligent and interesting that I thought he would, Bill would get along really well and they, they'd have a similar energy. So we introduced him in the Peter did the show, and it was a beautiful, beautiful piece. I think what's so exciting about um, that piece and then the work we're doing on Fela is that what, we, what, we, what Bill and I and Robert and that whole company started was a very modern dance way of going about things. There was no script when we began. There, there wasn't necessarily going to be a clear story. But what it was, was looking for ideas. How do we communicate these ideas through... Through movement, through image. Um, through light and staging. And what's, I think, really exciting about uh, this project, about Fela, is that we're going about building this piece with that, uh, with that way of working, but it's a different type of piece. It's like, how can we use every tool at our disposal to make a, a sort of a theatrical event that really embodies who Fela Kuti was, um, and and do it in this more collaborative way. I mean, when for me as a as a video designer, there's there's sort of incredible uh, uh, tools that I can tell a story, and I can tell a story so quickly, and I can t transport us from one place to another instantaneously. And how can we use those tools to move this musical forward and and kind of try to embody who this man was and where he lived in his time? Um, and working with Bill is, is really exciting because he's receptive to all those ideas. Different than a normal design process for a, a, a musical or a play um, where, uh, to begin with, the script is finished <laughs> before we begin rehearsal, mm -hmm. most often. Um, and, and it's a very sort of orderly process and, and sort of every, the departments are somewhat more segregated and, uh, and there isn't as much interplay. This is um, much more dynamic in that and way. And organic. Pro the process is very organic for Bill. It has, always has been. And that's what makes it so alive. As difficult as it can be, or frustrating sometimes, because you're trying to finish something, and then they keep changing it before you finish it, and then the changes need to change, and, and it keeps snowballing a little bit. It's still um, some of the most uh, moving and emotionally satisfying work I've ever done. Well, and I think that's what makes it a, a whole piece of theater, and what, when it's finished, makes it so exciting, because everything is so tightly wrapped up in everything else. There's no mm -hmm. choices. No one's in their studio uh, on their own making a decision about what scene six should look like. You're all in the room uh, sort of sweating it out, <laughs> trying, to figure, trying to figure it out. But it's a, as, as Robert says, it, it can be more difficult, but I think in the end, the results are, are more exciting, more rewarding. Um, and I think an audience feels that. You, you really, you, can, you, you know when it's been um, not considered enough or when it's too considered or too dry or too formal or too cool. You know, this is always has a, a visceral life to it. And it's always, and I think as an audience member, at least for me, 
um, with Bill's work. You feel it. You feel it in your heart, but you also understand it in your head. And I think the balance is what makes it so great. Well, and it, it's blood and guts. Like that, that, and that's what Fela was, and that's what Bill is. I mean, mm -hmm. And I mean, let me tell you, the first show I did with Bill, it was terrifying. I was like, who is this crazy man? <laughs> you know, and you know, running up to me in rehearsal and saying, but what would happen here? What would happen? And uh, you know, that's a, <laughs> can be a little off-putting at times. Um, until you get to know it, and then you just, you, you have to dive in with both feet, and you, you, there's, there's, there's no holding back. In a way, it's interesting, we're treated more um, like fellow performers. You know, we're, we're, we're not allowed that sort of sit at the back of the room mm. distance that you, that you sometimes have. It's easier to sit at the back of the room. <laughs> um, uh, and there's none of that here. You know, you, you know, the number of times that Robert and I jump up on stage in these rehearsals, I mean, I might do another show and never once set foot on the actual stage. And that's completely impossible here. Um, but that's, that's what makes it exciting. Mm -hmm. yeah.